the most tragic story of lust and revenge in the Bible, the story of Tamar and Amnon. To unravel the tragic saga of love, lust, hatred and revenge, our journey takes us back to the genesis of this heart-wrenching tale. It all commenced when King David succumbed to the allure of lust, committing adultery with Bathsheba. The consequences were dire. David planning for her husband Uriah to be killed in battle. 2 Samuel 12.10 MSV Because you treated Uriah the Hittite with such contempt, taking his wife as if she were your wife, killing him with the sword of the Ammonites. In the aftermath, the prophet Nathan delivered a solemn warning to David, declaring that the sword would cast its shadow over his house. And so, the ripple effect of David's transgressions began. This marked the inception of marital turmoil within the house of David. The sorrowful narrative of Tamar and Absalom unfolded, echoing the troubled beginnings of this royal lineage. What started as a seed of love soon sprouted into the branches of lust, murder, coup, and death. In this tale of love gone astray and the bitter taste of revenge, we witness the sobering reality of the ripple effects of one's actions. The warning given by Nathan echoed through the halls of the royal palace, foretelling the turbulent times that awaited the house of David. Amnon David's firstborn was captivated by an unusual love for his half-sister Tamar, Absalom's sister. 1 Samuel 13, 1, 2, MSV. Sometime later this happened, Absalom, David's son, had a sister who was very attractive, and her name was Tamar. Amnon, her brother, was overwhelmingly attracted to her. Amnon's affection for Tamar went beyond the bounds of familial love. His desires, unchecked and misguided, transformed into an obsession that clouded his judgment. Amnon's feelings, starting as love, twisted into something darker, an obsessive desire. As Amnon's lust grew, it became a destructive force, not just physically but emotionally. His unchecked desires made him sick in his soul, illustrating the profound truth that uncontrolled emotions, especially driven by lust, have the power to erode one's well-being. In a moment of vulnerability, Amnon sought solace from Jonadab, the son of David's brother Shammah. Jonadab, often regarded as shrewd and streetwise in many translations, didn't offer comfort to the troubled Amnon. Instead, he became a purveyor of evil counsel. 2 Samuel 13, 3, MSV. But Amnon had a very shrewd friend, his cousin Jonadab. He was the son of David's brother, Shammah. Jonadab, with a cunning mind, hatched a sinister plan to fulfill Amnon's forbidden desires. Exploiting Amnon's weakness, he devised a scheme where Amnon would feign sickness and request Tamar's presence for a seemingly innocent task, cooking for her ailing brother. Second, Samuel 13, 5, MSV. So Jonadab told him, Go to bed and pretend you're sick. When your father comes to visit you, say, Ask my sister Tamar to come and cook something for me. Let her cook in my sight so I can watch and then eat it from her own hand. This plan, veiled in deceit, unfolded like a tragic drama. The influence of misguided advice led Amnon down a perilous path, setting the stage for the heart-wrenching events that would follow. It's a stark reminder of the dangers of heeding counsel that lacks wisdom, leading to the erosion of moral integrity. In a cruel twist of fate, King David sent Tamar, Amnon's half-sister, to prepare a meal for him. Amnon, fueled by twisted desires, cunningly cleared the room, creating an environment of vulnerability. 2 Samuel 13, 11, MSV. When she brought the nourishing meal to Amnon, he grabbed her and said, Come to bed with me, sister. Tamar, valiant and honorable, resisted, pleading with Amnon to consider the consequences. She proposed seeking the king's permission for marriage, but Amnon, driven by lust, refused. 2 Samuel 13, 14, MSV. But he wouldn't listen, and being stronger than she, he raped her. The tragedy unfolded as Amnon's love turned into hatred after violating Tamar. In his disgrace, he commanded his servant to cast her out, sealing Tamar's fate as a victim of despicable cruelty. This heartbreaking episode echoes broader biblical themes of the consequences of unchecked desires and the devastating impact of power misused. Tamar's tragedy serves as a sobering reminder of the profound consequences when respect and love are replaced by manipulation and abuse. In the aftermath of Tamar's heart-wrenching violation, her brother Absalom, sensing her pain, confronted her. With a heavy heart, Tamar revealed the truth about Amnon's assault. 2 Samuel 13, 20, 
MSV. Her brother Absalom said to her, Has that Amnon your brother been with you? Be quiet now, my sister, he is your brother. Don't take this thing to heart. So Tamar lived in her brother Absalom's house, a desolate woman. Absalom, though seething with rage, urged Tamar to keep the matter within the family. Meanwhile, David, their father, heard of the incident but inexplicably took no action. Second, Samuel 13, 21, MSV. When King David heard all this, he was furious. Absalom never spoke to Amnon again. As time passed, Absalom's smoldering hatred for Amnon intensified, leading to an icy silence between the brothers. Absalom's quest for justice and revenge simmered beneath the surface, setting the stage for a tumultuous turn of events. The narrative unfolds with pacing that amplifies the tension, laying the foundation for Absalom's brewing wrath against the one who had wronged his sister. After two years of apparent calm, Absalom's secret plan matured. He organized a feast, inviting all the king's sons, creating an atmosphere of celebration, drawing inspiration from 2 Samuel 13, 23, 29 MSV, Absalom requested King David's presence, but the king declined, sensing something amiss. Absalom persisted, ensuring that Amnon, the source of his fury, attended. Unbeknownst to David, Absalom harbored a dark plot to avenge his sister's violation. As the banquet unfolded, Absalom's revenge took shape. He signaled his servants to strike Amnon when he was intoxicated. The consequences were severe, Amnon was killed, and chaos ensued as the remaining brothers fled in fear. In the aftermath, David received distorted information that all his sons were slain. However, the truth emerged, revealing that only Amnon had perished. This serves as a cautionary tale, emphasizing the repercussions of following evil counsel. Jonadab, the advisor who fueled Amnon's wicked actions, wasn't present when the consequences unfolded. This underscores the need for caution in choosing associates and heeding counsel. As Absalom sought refuge with his grandfather, the king of Gesher, the narrative prompts reflection on the consequences of revenge and the importance of forgiveness. Despite the tragedy, there's a lesson in discernment, highlighting the potential for redemption and the necessity of choosing a path of compassion over vengeance. The tragic tale of Tamar, Amnon and Absalom unfolds crucial lessons Lust, portrayed in Amnon's wrongful desires, led to severe consequences. The story warns us about the dangers of allowing desires to control our actions, emphasizing the need for self-control and respect for others. Family dynamics play a significant role, revealing the impact of broken relationships on an entire household. This underscores the importance of trust, communication, and addressing conflicts promptly within families. Referencing 2 Samuel 13, 15, 22, MSV, the narrative solidifies these themes. Tamar's plea for Amnon to marry her, reflecting cultural norms, shows the value placed on familial honor and responsibility. The consequences faced by David's family echo the biblical principle of reaping what is sown, emphasizing the importance of righteous living. The story concludes with the revelation that only Amnon faced the consequences of his actions, this resolution leaves room for ongoing themes within David's family. The consequences of David's earlier sins continue to reverberate, underscoring the lasting impact of our choices on future generations. Despite the tragedy, there's room for hope. Lessons from this narrative include acknowledging the consequences of our actions, seeking forgiveness, and embracing redemption. God's mercy, highlighted in the biblical context, offers a pathway to healing and restoration. The story encourages us to choose the path of compassion, forgiveness and hope, even in the face of grave mistakes.